Hello guys, welcome once again to another YouTube tutorial on bioinformatics. My name is Vincent Sapia. Today we are going to look at how to perform a genome assembly which combines nanopore and Illumina reads. For this tutorial, I'm going to use a data set from this paper. This is the paper. So this paper Combines nanopore and illumina reads, as you can see from the statement here. Now, this paper also gives the links to where you can download the data sets, both the illumina reads and the nanopore reads, using these links. And the paper is free to download, so you can check it out and then um, look at the instructions. So, we are going to use speed just like we did with the previous video. I already have my environment set up. So I'll just, I also have the data sets downloaded already. So I will confirm that the data sets are already there. So I have my nanopore, I have my luminar reads, it's all spared in. So we have the R1, that's read 1, and we also have read 2. Now let me also confirm that speed is already loaded. Great. So when you type the speed.py, you have a lot of flags being shown that tells you how to run the speed. So we are interested in the input data section. So if you have read one, read two, read one, you specify with this dash one and in the file name. If you have the read two, you specify here. If you also have unpaired reads or some will also call it single reads, then you can specify with a dash s. For this tutorial, we don't have any unpaired reads, so we will skip this particular option. Since we have nanopore, then we specify with this particular flag here. That's what we specify. You can also specify if you have other data sets to add, which would be Sangha, Pagbayo, or others. Space gives you that option of flexibility. So, first of all, let me clear. Then just make sure that I have my data set already here. Yes. So now I just type my speeds.py, add my careful flag, and I also indicate the output where I want speeds to save the results. So I use speeds.speeds out, then I specify my read 1, to is P7741, R1, askew.jz, I specify my read 2, that's for the Illumina. P7741 R2 askew.gz. Then I also specify the nanopore, which is all. Yes, so that's how it's done. So once you are done, you are set to run. So let's start running. Great, so as it's running, it indicates. The procedure for you. Now, speed when it's running, it tells you what it's doing. So a number of processes goes on here, and once it's done, it also saves all this information in a log file that you can check. If there were any errors encountered, it will also be found in the log file. Now, depending on your genome size and how many input data you have, speed could take some time to run. Also, depend on your computational power, speeds um, will also take some time to run. So if you have more CPU cores, you could also indicate that with a dash T flag. By this tutorial, we didn't specify that. But if you have additional cores, you could use that um, to do the work. So that's for speeds. Right, so now the assembly process is complete. So once it's done, you have this information all being displayed. If there were any errors, then it could also it indicate here. Of course, here speed gives some warnings, but some of these warnings can be ignored. But you can also look uh, more into those errors by going to this file, which will be in the directory that you specified. 
as output during the configurations. Now let's check that the directory has been created. Yes, and that is here. Now let's confirm what it's in it. Yes, so after the Nova assembly, you have all these files being generated that you could go and then check. But most of the time, what we are interested in is the context.faster or the scaffolds.faster. These are the files that will be processed um, for further analysis. So let's look at how many contexts are there. Contexts are these are nucleotides that are continuous and have no gaps. That's what we mean by the context. So this context can be pieced together and then reordered to form the scaffolds for further processing. Now let's check how many contexts are present in the context that faster far. So we have 2,566 contexts. Okay. So, and the later tutorial, I'm going to look at what can be done with this context. One of the things that can be done with the context is to uh, do genome annotation, which we will cover in the next tutorial. But today, our objective has been achieved, and that is knowing how to perform genome assembly by combining both Illumina and the Nanopore rates. Thank you for watching and let's meet again for another tutorial. Bye.